this is a bad idea. No, 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 not this Let's Play, not this Let's Play. Hello, this is Miles Luigi. This is actually a really good ROM hack, Super Mario World 2 plus 3, The Us and Star. This is part one of the Let's Play, so this is like the part people view, and they get a good impression of what the Let's Player is like. Uh, yesterday I got two hours of sleep, and it's 3.24 in the morning. And I thought, a crazy idea, sometimes a Let's Play video done this early in the morning results in complete brilliance, and other times it does not. Um, last time, I tried this, I actually didn't, um, as you can very clearly see, I had a save file there, but, well, lovely technical issues. But with regards to everything here, this ROM hack so far, um, it has a little bit of a plot development in the beginning. I actually did a little bit of research on this ROM hack a little bit earlier. Um, it's been a while since I've done the research, but as I understand it, this is the sequel to a sequel, which in case you people can't figure out, is the third in a series. Naturally, SMW2 plus three people figure it out. With the other two ROM hacks, that is the original and the sequel to the original, or the second one, being Yoshi's Island ROM hacks. And the third one being a Mario World ROM hack. Now this is hilarious, because I'm like, NO I DON'T WANT TO CHECK THE MAIL! No! NO I DON'T WANT TO CHECK THE MAIL! No! Fudge, now I have to go on an adventure! I, I could have ran away from the mailbox and this would have never happened. Seriously, but regardless, Mario gets a letter, and it's from the mysterious sender, but it's to a mysterious new place. It's like, congratulations, you won a trip to Puerto Rico. Let's go ahead and go. Nothing against Puerto Rico. I was going to say Hawaii, but then I decided to say Puerto Rico. Um, no, once again, nothing against Puerto Rico. So, uh, we can't recheck the letter box, or the mailbox anymore. I can assume the mail's been taken out of it. We'll have to wait for a paracarrier to get back there. Anyway, Luigi decides to run back and forth, and before, like last recording, I'm like, ah, oh, fudge, I need to think of a good metaphor for what Luigi's doing, because he's literally doing nothing but running back and forward, like, why is he running back and forward all over these plants? And I still can't think of a good metaphor. I say he has the Luigi bug, because he just runs back and forth, and I can literally jump on his head over and over and over again. Mario should become a black skipper player. Now, if I did that correctly, Mario, like, moonwalked a little bit there. Ah, fudge, of course, I do something cool and now I can't reproduce it! I even have save states on my side. And Princess Peach is in here. I'm gonna give you a moment to read the text, even though I already have! And the parasol thing, I think that's from the game Princess Peach was in that I never played. Lovely. <laughs> I think that was in that game on the Nintendo DS. I think, what was it, Super Princess Peach World? Wow, if I totally messed that up, I'm totally gonna get bashed. That's okay. This Goomba, I think, ate that mushroom, but regardless, it didn't help Mario anyway. The music to the stage happens to come from the Super Mario RPG, the one in the SNES, because I just so happen to know that, because I can actually identify some of the beginning songs in this ROM hack. Which is good, it's not like I'm running to the ROM hack and they play some nice, cool, funky, custom music, and I'm like, what the hell did that come from? Not that I need to know where a song necessarily came from, but most ROM hackers, you know, get their songs from other sources. It takes quite a bit of work to compose music if you've never done it before. Take it from somebody who's only taken a music class in 6th grade because it was required, and then I took another semester of it because I like diddling around on the piano. That's all the music experience I have. I'm good at finding middle C and reading very basic music sheets, so I don't even know what it's like to compose music, but I gotta tell you, it's probably really difficult. But regardless... Oh wow, I think that's like the fifth time I've said regardless. Um, anyway, I need to think of more transitional words than regardless and anyway, because while regardless and anyway both work very well. Oh wow, coin, 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 coin. While regardless and anyway work pretty well, there there are many different transitional words in the English language, naturally. This cheap cheap just decided to be super cheap and jump right up on Mario. I didn't have that happen last time. Well, this area kind of reminds me of like a dreamland-like area. Which is strange, the, the first level, Mario was already in a dream! This whole thing was a dream! What's happening? Fudge. Anyway, this Toad has the Luigi bug because he's running back and forth. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at what he's saying. Basically what's happening is Mario got an invitation to a big island and he decided to invite all his friends or something like that it's from a mysterious person we really shouldn't trust. But you know what? This is Mario! He doesn't even get paid for his plumber job anyway, so you know, why, why, why the hell you know you... you Stick with your normal job when it doesn't pay that well when you can go on adventure! <clears throat>
You know, Mario saved the princess so many times that Princess Peach is just like, Yeah, Mario, uh, here's, here's your paycheck. We'll just pretend you did all those plumbing works jobs for us, and we'll send the real plumbers that way. Uh, I'm not sure if that actually happens, because Nintendo has never revealed the backstory of Mario in between adventures, because that would make a boring game! Uh, unless you count like something like Mario teaches typing, in between Mario games, Mario go just he just he doesn't even does do his plumbing job. He goes go karting. He teaches typing to people who are 101 years old. I can't believe I made that reference. <laughs> For those who don't got it, take a look at the Mario teaches typing book. It says something like ages four to 101. But now we're on a boat, and the boat is moving quite fast. We are definitely cruising. Can I die? No, I can't. But I got save states in case you were wondering. But what I can do, because there's no time limit, is just hold down the tab key, which activates fast forward! Which means I can fast forward without even um, video editing. As in, yeah, that, as you can see, we are obviously sailing through a big archipelago. I probably used the wrong geology term, but who the frick cares? There's still rocks all around us. We're probably in really shallow waters, and this never ends! We never get to big vast ocean or another island or something like that. We just go on forever and forever and forever. But this is supposed to be a willing sus willing suspension belief something like that. We're believing that we're sailing somewhere and we'll eventually get somewhere else, you know, that's how this all whole thing works. You know, just ignore the fact that the background's repeating over and over and over and over again. Anyway, the ship, uh, is experiencing some tur turbulence in case you couldn't read the text, but I'll, I'll go ahead and talk to the toad. Um, I already know what he says. Because I lost a recording! You know what, I, I'm gonna use this word even though it's not a word, irregardless, it's totally not a word, but it transitions to my next point as Pinch Just Peach decides I'm royalty, I can just sit back and rule this kingdom, but no, I gotta go on adventure and get kidnapped again, probably, ooh, coins, 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 you know what, that's what happens, you know, if anything the Super Smash Bros. games have taught us, the Princess Peach is more than capable of defending herself, yet she never really does a great job in any other game, does she? Maybe she needs to package that little personal toad more often. Wait, we got plenty of toads on this ship. There shouldn't be any problem. Anyway, I think this pipe leads to Luigi, and Luigi's doing the Luigi dance. Yes! Luigi's doing the little Luigi dance. He has the Luigi bug. He's infected. Ah! I don't even want to talk to him. What a scaredy cat. I think I got stuck on the wall there, which pe people don't know the Super Mario World engine quite well enough. When you very briefly get stuck on a wall, that means that exact frame, if you hit the jump button, you will jump! Problem is, it's, like, impossible to perform unless you are playing this game really slow in what is known as tool assistance. Anyway, I'm able to identify another theme! This is the theme from Fire Emblem, and because I played the first Fire Emblem game that came out in the United States, the one... Yeah, that one. This is Together We Ride, if I remember correctly, a theme that plays when you record a new character. Go play Fire Emblem, it's a good game. Uh, anyway... Fudge! I need to use a new transition word! However, that's a transition word. It, it kind of implies a difference. But anyway, now uh, we get to go on an emergency submarine, and I love this little section, because it's a throwback to Super Mario Land, and we can shoot little missiles at everything, and it's like, you know, screw water levels where Mario's defenseless unless he has a far floor, let's just blow everything out of our way, that's the way we really ought to do water levels. Anyway, that chuck just totally destroyed me, but you know what, I lost my power-up, and I'm still going shooting stuff at everything. This is how water levels need to be. Lost your power-up? Guess what? You can still shoot stuff because you're in a submarine. You're not holding your breath for 500 megaseconds here. I think there's a power up up here, so I might as well pick it up. No, there's plenty of coins. I will take those, however. Um, in my brief research, I kind of learned that this uh, game has RPG elements. I don't know if that means I'm going to be leveling up my jump and jumping even higher or getting power ups that last more than a single hit, but it'll mean something along those regards. Did I remind you that I only had two hours of sleep the night before? Fudge! No! I lost my submarine! Save state abuse! Aha! Missile in your face. I got my first legitimate, not totally kidding, death, and it was on stage two. Boy, was that bad. No, missiles are awesome. You, you see that? That charging chuck was charging right at me, and I just shot him in the face. You know, if you charge at somebody and they just pulled a gun, boom, yeah, you're not going to make it very far either. I think there is a secret back here. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, fast forward. No, there isn't. I'm, I'm, 
imagining things. And now I don't even know how to use my safe state or low state buttons either. Oh wait, was it down here? Aha! There's another little one of those Rip Van Fishes. Oh, it's a good thing I did go back. I ran out of words to say. But that's okay, because we're going to enter a new area, and then I'm going to have weird, crazy stuff to say after this transition. That's the best transition. Transition! Mario is called a fool by, look, Kamek. Somewhere in some past game, I guess Mario and Kamek had some character development. Kamek was probably an enemy, blah, blah, blah. And now we're on this island, and when I was first here, I'm like, ooh, do I get to start my... Um, adventure, look, down below is the first level, but I can go to any level I want because the game let me, and I'm like, ooh, ooh, I can go to any level I want. Let's go to that little mushroom hut because that normally has power-ups, but no, it's the Toad Help Center. You go here in case you're a dumbass, because look at this guy. He tells you to press A or B to advance text when you had to press A or B to advance text when you're at this point in the game. And then this guy tells you something you should have learned from Super Mario World, that the red dot levels have a secret exit. And this guy tells you that the red square levels, this me you may not know, so this one's good, have a secret star exit. So I guess um, red dot, red square, both secret exits. And you may be in people who need your help. If you fill their tasks, you'll be warned, which basically says this game has side quests. And that might help us with those related um, RPG elements. Anyway. We collect items in our inventory up there. As you can very clearly see, our inventory is just double colon. Actually, that's a single colon, because a colon is just a dot and a dot. It's basically the combination of a period and whatever in the world is above a period. But you never really read a period up there. Maybe you read a, a dot. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, a, the punctuation mark when you connect words together with a dot. Um, in any case scenario, which is a good transition, by the way, this is like preparation area, as I understood it. I didn't get very far. But you can die here! See, look! Yes! Oh, there wasn't a secret there. I actually decided to check. I wonder if there's a secret here. Anyway, Princess Peach is going to have a good time. Why don't we go ahead and give the audience a chance to read the text? I actually haven't read this text anyway, but it's like I really care, unless it tells me about a secret side quest. Um, something about Perry. Okay, so if I find Perry, help him. Because he might give me a higher jump. And look, Luigi still has the infection of the Luigi book! He has a jinx! Anyway, um, yeah, unfortunately he's not giving me any help because he's not telling me about any of the side quests that are going to help me out. Um, this is a castle of some kind. I, I remember, uh, th th this is supposed to be, you know, a place that's empty, full of enemies, places like that, but it's actually a legitimate, you know, castle, civilized, it's got toads running all over the place, and we're told to meet this one person, but the... Door is not locked, never mind.
this isn't gonna be like Super Paper Mario or have the option to say yes or no. Oh well. That, that means no automatic game over for me. On the other hand, it's probably better for the player and everything else. Um, wow, we can uh, continue with on with the game, then go on to the ship and... Hey, wait, can we go into any of the five areas? Wow, this game is awesome. Uh... I say I collect my sanity. I'll make sure I edit this part so it's actually sane and so I'm not blowing everyone's ears out and... Yeah, I'm certain somebody in the comment section below is going to be like, Miles, Luigi, X, Y, Z, or variable X is something I missed, variable Y is something stupid I did, and variable C is something that I missed already in the beginning area, which means my entire playthrough has been ruined and i got to do part one all over again. I pray to God not, but I will see you next time, probably with more sleep, and maybe with Evil Pop-Tart. See ya.